today we are visiting Stanley in his office. So, let's see what happens. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Hmm. Yeah. Stanley worked for we a company in a big building right where he was employee Last number month made a musical about this. Employee and yeah, the narrator sounds totally different he from the musical. He room 427 and he pushed buttons on the oh, bro. Orders came to him through a monitor on his That must be Stanley, huh? What buttons to push, okay. how long to okay. push them, and in what order. This is what employee intro, intro, 427 intro. did every day, every month, of every year. And although others might have considered it soul winding, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in. Okay. Though he had been made exactly for this job. Alright. And Stanley was happy. Now, and then one day, something very the narrator peculiar happened. is gonna give us something that would forever change Stan. I'm not gonna something he would okay never all of them. Like when he, he says, been at his enter, desk for nearly an hour. When he says, when he then we enter the door and in left. Single Instead of left, I'm gonna go right. For him to follow. No As an example, to give him instructions, <laughs> call a meeting, or even say, I mean, that's what Stanley did in the all musical. Never years at the mm -hmm. company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Where the Stanley heck decided are to they? go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, through this door, through that door. Okay, this. This part right when here. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way <laughs> to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yes, just to ah, admire yes, it. Truly a room <laughs> worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Um, I'm gonna go straight ahead. Stanley was so bad at following directions, right it's here. incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Yep, I'm bad at following directions, says me, Mr. Bad Look, at Stanley, following I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Who? Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. Oh, you? This is it, Stanley. You're the one I forgot your chance about? to redeem yourself. Ugh. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. <gasps> and then... Where am I? Oh, where are you? Is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit their life to you? Uh, I'm trying uh, to make uh, a point here, Stanley. I'm trying you, to get you to see uh, something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. You couldn't. Of a narrator. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Wait, I'm gonna die? Um. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. 
He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. Yes. Oh, oh, I. But in his mind, ah. In his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stan <laughs> dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. I'm gonna throw your fantastic dummy out the window. <laughs> new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Eight. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. So, he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too uh, wonderful to behold. This is definitely a bad end, I guess. As he wandered through this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end. Ah, that he might furniture. feel this Ugh. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. But there is no answer. How could there possibly be? Uh, In reality, all he's doing what? is pushing the same buttons he always what? has. Nothing has changed. Dude, how did my desk get here? here the what the heck? The he gets, the more he forgets which life is the real one. Oh, I guess. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. <sighs> okay. Telling me to press N. You see? Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Uh. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so <gasps> different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. Clean die? I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. Did the king just say? Uh. That is probably the worst ending ever. <laughs> Dying! <laughs> Just like All normally pressing buttons gone. like Stanley would, and then plain die. To go to the <laughs> Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. <laughs> Goodness, that's like the worst ending ever. I feel bad for myself. 
for getting a, such a bad ending. <laughs> Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. <sighs> okay, I guess I'm gonna listen to the narrator voice from now on. <sighs> Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley okay. decided to go up to his boss's Move office, out. hoping he might find an answer there. Of here and then. <gasps> yes! 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 Broom closet, my favorite room! Yes, 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 yes! Broom closet! Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. All right. <sighs> nothing besides brooms, case, brooms, and more brooms. To his boss's office. So where is... Oh, here it is. I'm guessing this is it. Kunu lymph. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked. Unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Huh. What's boss and dogs? That's some German. That means what is this? See, I could be smart. And... My brother Gabe taught me German years ago. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though huh. he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Oh. How did he feel this now? Where am I going? And for years, it had never occurred to him. This question would not go unanswered for long. <gasps> Stanley walked ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Hmm. Fast and dust. Huh. Do I press The lights this? rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Whoa! Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the Whoa. strength to find out? Stanley, whoa, 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 this just don't, what the, what is this, Boss and Doss. Now the monitors jumped to life, their ah! true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. <laughs> And Stanley, <laughs> one of them, eternally monitored in this place where I feel like this is gonna be another bad ending. Ah! Run! Quick! Exit! That must have been exit, right? Facility. It was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly. Who got fired though? 
No. He refused to believe it. He ah! couldn't accept it. His own life Why is that light going so control? ominously? Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Ah! He truly spent Blinding. his entire life utterly blind to the world? And then... <clears throat> What's this? The, roof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. <gasps> and as the cold reality of his So I've been basically sinking, like a Stanley robot the whole time and someone's been controlling me? Its terrible what? Power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once. Someone's and been controlling all my emotions? So I'm like a robot? What? No way! Dude, this just got dark and crazy. Oh, Stanley. You didn't what? just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? No. Oh, Stanley. No. I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine no. You were supposed to let it go. Turn the controls off and leave. If you want to throw my story in, uh, I let, to Okay, I can you. Okay, Mr. Narrator you guy. I let really the gosh. You think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the what? event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode. Is there still time to press the, the off complex. button? How long until detonation then? Hmm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't no. it, Stanley? It's your no! time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape no! it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere I'm gonna die! Until the bomb goes off. But what precious Oh my goodness! Ah! More time to the talk bomb! I'm gonna die! Where we're going? What all this means? I barely know where to start. Ah! Ah! Let me out! What's Let that? me out! Ah! Know where your co-workers are. R.I.P. <laughs> headphone users. Day. Sorry. <laughs> I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. We're all gonna die anyway! Alright, PM phone users, again! Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Oh my goodness! Other times, <laughs> I let the office sink into the ground, I can't believe I'm gonna die! Inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. Oh man, I now this! This, this is even worse run. than the last and <laughs> you try to make sense of everything crazy the control rested away from you it's quite rich I almost hate to see it go but I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around <laughs> will be even better <laughs> my goodness only 34 seconds left but <laughs> I'm enjoying this <laughs> so much you know what to hell with it I'm going to put some extra time on the clock why not? These are precious additional seconds. Quick, three, Time three, three. On trees. Let's the button oh, three. Me. What's the matter, Stanley? Ah, ah, Is it that ah. you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what Wait. your purpose in this place is? I think I know it. <laughs> Stanley. You're in for quite a disappointment, but here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world. That's fine. 
but I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. The clock's wrong. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. Three! seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here, just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life, or will you let it go peacefully? Another no. choice. I'm playing four! Oh, don't. It's all the same. Oh my gosh! All a part of oh my character. goodness! And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment ah! we begin until the moment I'm gonna... I say happily ever up. Oh. Well, that was terrible. They should change the name to Stanley Terrible. Well, anyway, like, subscribe, hit that bell, and see you guys later. Bye!